the water cycle diagram. Get ready to draw all over this diagram to help you understand the water cycle. All right, so we have some basic parts of the water cycle. First thing let's talk about is the ocean here. So if this is ocean or even a lake, um, water evaporates out of it. And once it reaches the upper atmosphere, it condenses into clouds because it gets colder and colder air can't hold as much moisture. And so it, it creates first clouds. So this process right here is evaporation. And then that moisture condenses into clouds. So we call this condensation. Now these clouds can rain back over the ocean, back over a lake, but often they move over land and they rain. And so rain, snow, sleet, hail is called precipitation. Another way we can get clouds is through transpiration from plants. So plants release water vapor from their leaves. And that on really, really hot days, they're releasing a lot of water vapor. The water vapor, which is gaseous water, so it's water in gas form, it goes up in the atmosphere and the higher it gets, the cooler the air is. And then that air can't hold as much moisture and so it condenses into clouds and you get rain. So in parts of the country where they have huge amounts of forests or grasslands or a lot of biomass, they're going to have thunderstorms and it's created on hot, humid days in that process. All right, let's go back to the rain here. And when things rain, some of the rain washes down the hill and that's called runoff. But some of it soaks into the ground and this is called seepage. Sometimes it's called percolation. Now that can seep into our groundwater. So here, anything, any water that's underground is called a groundwater but we have big pools of water underground. Well, they're not necessarily pools. They can be rocky with a lot of space in between. We call these aquifers. So a lot of groundwater um, together is called an aquifer. And so the aquifers hold water, but the water moves too. And so sometimes aquifers end up moving as well and transferring. All right, so that's what we need from our drawing. And so we have a lot of terms here that you have to know. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the terms here for you. So go ahead and pause the video and write down your terms. And then when you're done with your terms, you can unpause and be done with the video.